everyone and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at something totally different to anything I've shown you before. This is actually a graphics tablet that incorporates good old traditional pencil and paper. How exactly does that work? We're going to find out. So obviously it's nothing really to do with uh, colouring, it's more of the art side of my channel but um, if you are an artist who draws your own coloured pencil pages and line art you'll be able to draw them on this and then colour them in if you want so it does tie into colouring somewhere <laughs> um so yes we're going to see exactly how it works it's a very innovative kind of product that i've not seen before i've not seen anything like it so i'm very interested to see how it works so it comes in this beautiful box the packaging is exquisite if we look on the back it gives us a little bit more information about exactly what's inside so it says here you take your favourite pencil, so any pencil you like, just pick one out of your pot, you slip on the special repaper ring, you attach any sheet of paper of your choice and off you go. Repaper works with you throughout the creative process. There's three ways of using it. You can sketch on pencil and paper either with the screen in front of you so you can see every stroke you're making live uh, or you can do it in... Um, where you put the paper onto the tablet and you go out and about, out of the house, not connected to anything, and you do your drawing, you come home and you download it onto your tablet, uh, and then you can colour and finish it with the repaper stylus and your favourite software. So it says here it's developed to work with repaper, that's the app that you must download in order to transfer your drawings from paper to um, digital. It says the repaper studio app brings your creations to life from paper to screen, Instantly. Special features include layer management, use of various brushes, image import and export to JPEG, PNG, PSD and MP4 video. So I'm just looking if there's any other things that we need to tell you what's on the back here. It says it's got high pressure sensitivity so that it has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and it has true multi-pixel pressure sensitivity technology. <laughs> uh, whatever that means. So it says in the box we're going to get the repaper slate, we're going to get the stylus, we've got a pencil, we've got our clips, the ring itself which is the, the magic of the whole thing and then we've got a sketchbook and things. So it's compatible with Mac, Windows, iPad, iPhone and Android so whatever kind of tablet or whatever you've got you'll be fine. So let's have a look in the box. So I'm going to slip off the sleeve here's the actual box itself the packaging I have to say is really top-notch so we open this little magnetized flap at the front we've got a getting started with the repaper under the lid and then we're straight into the product itself so here we've got the uh, little insert that's telling you that this particular edition is a Faber-Castell limited edition repaper box so with this you will have uh, the Faber-Castell pencil which you can already see here and uh, I think the paper as well is Faber-Castell. So yeah, that's just your little limited edition card. Here's the slate itself. So this is what it looks like. It's very thin. It looks just like a tablet from the back. It could be an iPad or something. Um, and you've got a couple of buttons on here which you can program to do things like uh, undo and redo, things like that. And then you've got the top, which hopefully is focusing. You've got your on-off button, your light, you've got your micro SD slot, so you can store all of your drawings, uh, as many as you want really, depending on the card size. And then you've got your little micro USB insert port there. So that is the, the slate itself. You can see that it's got these little gold markings in the corner, and that is where your paper will have to sit. What else do we have? So of course we have the Faber-Castell pencil for you to get started with straight away. And this is that little repaper ring that uh, is, is the whole magic of the operation. I'll just get you zoomed in on that as well so you can see. That slips onto any pen or pencil that will fit and you can use your favourite drawing tools. That's, that's, its, uh, that's its main use, I think, is that you can slip it onto anything. Um, so... What we're going to do is we're going to go through the box and then we're going to have a bit of a demonstration. And I believe how this works is by magnets. So that's how it all, it picks up what you're putting down. So I'm going to pop this back for now. We've then got the stylus, which has its own repaper ring built in here. So you don't have to slip that one on or off. 
So that's a stylus. We've then got the sketchbook of paper that I mentioned. So it said this is 180 GSM, 110 pound paper. It's A5 in size. So that's the size that you need to work with, A5. I think, I don't know if Repaper do a larger slate for A4 or even A3, but if not, they should. Uh, and it's natural white heavy heavyweight drawing paper. That's all it says. So it comes in a pad. You've then got your user guide very very quick setup just showing you how to initially you know start up your repaper legal notice does anybody read them i don't think so uh, you've got your micro usb cable you've got your clips which will affix your paper onto the side of the repaper slate so it doesn't slip off and that's it so 10 out of 10 for the packaging so far it's beautiful and uh, i just want to see how we actually affix a bit of paper onto here because I want to test those clips out. So let's take a piece of paper out of the pad. Oh, it's nice. Got a nice little drawing of the Eiffel Tower there. So this paper is an off-white ivory colour. It's very, very thick. It feels like a watercolour paper or a multimedia paper. It's got a lot of heavy tooth on there. And then at the bottom, it's simply got hashtag with repaper. So if you are using it, you can hashtag it in and people can find your work. So the little clips, as I said, are designed to keep your paper still and in place between the little notches that are on the corners. So all you have to do, she says, hoping you can see, I oh, hope that wasn't blurred. Uh, all you have to do is click it onto the side there and then you lift it up and it will... It's, it's grabbed the paper immediately. There's nothing uh, nothing too strenuous about that. And then you do the same on the other side. So you click it onto the edge. You can hear that click. And your paper is completely sturdy now. It's not going to go anywhere. And if you want to take your paper out, you just have to press that. And it will lift up the clip so that you can remove your paper. Kind of fiddly because you have to do both at the same time. <laughs> And there you go. So to get the clips off, you just drag it down to the bottom and they come off. So, yeah, really nice, sturdy way of keeping your paper still. And uh, yes, so as I mentioned, we have three different ways of doing it. I'm going to demo all of them for you. Uh, first of all, you have the paper on the tablet, the screen in front of you, and you'll be able to see each stroke you're making as you make it. You've also got the opportunity to do it without paper at all, just using a stylus and checking on screen what's happening. You can then take it out and around with you anywhere you want to go. You keep your paper on there and uh, it will it has its own internal memory. So whatever you draw when you're out and about, it will remember it and you can then upload it onto your tablet when you get home. So without further ado, let's get into the demonstrations. OK, so the first thing you need to do is download the Repaper Studio app from App Store or Play Store. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So you've got the option here to import your paper drawings when you've been out sketching on the Repaper Slate and you want to import them onto your tablet when you get home. You've then got the draw on paper and on screen option, which takes you to the live drawing process, which you'll see in a moment. Most importantly, you've got your connection button. So you make sure that your repaper slate is switched on and you'll know that because the little blue light will be flashing in the corner. And when it's switched on, you put it next to your tablet, make sure that your tablet's Bluetooth is on, of course, and you can see it's identified the repaper and it's connected. So once that's done, it will come up here green saying that it's uh, it's all connected and it will tell you your battery status as well. Because don't forget, this has, I believe, a six hour long battery. So when you're out and about, you've got plenty of time to do all of your sketching and drawing and it will remember everything you've drawn. So let's get straight into it. OK, so I've got the repaper tablet set up. I've slotted the piece of paper from the sketchbook into the repaper. So I've just used the little tabs as I showed you before and I've set up the app so it's ready to go. It's all connected and everything. So up here, you'll see that we've got the word repaper on my tablet and next to it is a blank circle. Now, as I move my pencil toward the paper, you should see that the blank circle is now green and that means that it's detected that your pencil is close to the surface. So you know that you've got a good connection when you see that that green there. 
So I'm going to hold the pencil just above where the repaper ring is sitting. So just just above here. I don't want it to be over the repaper or down here. I'm going to hold the pencil just above. And then let's try a little Johanna Basford esque flower, shall we? Um, you know I'm no artist, but I'm going to give it a go. So let's have um, a little circle in the middle here. Yep, to pick that up straight away. And let's go for, let's do a petal at 12 and 6. Perfect. And then at 3 and 9. Lovely, let's pick those up. And then we'll put a few more in between. So I'm not checking the screen at the moment because I'm obviously concentrating on what I'm doing on my hand, with my hand rather. But just to look back and check, yep, yeah, it's it's picked up all the tiny little wibbly wobbly lines and uh, mistakes. Well, not mistakes, there's no mistakes, is there? But uh, it's picked up every single sort of wobbly line and stroke that I've put down perfectly. So that's a good start. So now I'm going to... Um, Let's do a bit of a leaf up here, a bit of a wobbly leaf. And let's just continue that all the way around. Okay, so as you can see, it's all translated perfectly over to the screen. The connection is pretty much perfect. It's sensitive enough to pick up everything I've um, put down. I'm just wondering if it will pick up these tiny weeny strokes that I put very lightly on either side of the petal. Yes, it does. So I've not got any pressure on there whatsoever. I'm just doing some very tiny strokes. So it didn't pick up those ones. I did them a bit lighter. So you do need to use a bit of pressure but not too much, so maybe you can fiddle around with the sensitivity settings and things. Um, we'll have to check. There we go. So uh, let's put a little dot in each of these petals and see if it picks that up. Yep, it's picked... Oh, no, wait, I didn't do that one. <laughs> so it's picked up all the little dots that I've put down. So even small marks are getting um, getting picked up and translated onto the screen. Um, let's try another one. So this time what I might do is actually change the pencil that I'm using. So to do that, you would just slip off your repaper ring and then um, find a pen or any kind of tool that you want to use um, and the thing is about this is that the one that comes with it the ring that comes with your package is the small size ring and I know that they do sell a, a different repaper ring that's got a larger diameter but that doesn't come within this pack which I think is a, is a big shame really because if you're paying what you're paying for this I, I think that they should put all of the tools in that you need and really this is a very very small diameter that's only going to fit over the width of a standard pencil but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it with a ballpoint pen this is a big crystal it's a 1.6 mil nib and obviously it's a little bit thicker so I'm going to give it a go for the first time uh, and see so yeah you can definitely tell as you're pushing the ring onto the pen that there is much more resistance there uh, but it is going it is sliding up so I just don't want to break anything that's the only thing um, so I've got to check with my user guide and make sure that the the ring is in the correct position so let's have a look ah perfect and then you've just got to check with the actual ring itself that it's not slanted or anything that it's perfectly level on the pencil uh, now I'm going to go to the settings at the bottom of the tablet here and see that we can change what we're using. So if I click on, uh, what have we got here? We've got felt pen, we've got, what's this one? Ballpoint pen. So I'll click ballpoint pen. It's at the maximum size, which is 0 0.80 mil. Um, and this is actually a 1.6 mil pen. So we can't, there's no option to get up to that thickness, but uh, we'll just do, we'll just do the maximum for now. We've got the opacity. We've got stroke smoothing, which I'm not sure 
what that means. Um, speed sensitivity, so low, medium and high, depending on how fast you draw. Oh, and it's actually changed this to a pen on the screen. That's fun. Um, you've got your pressure, you've got your 3D cursor. So maybe is that 3D cursor going to be the pen? Let's try and click hidden. Ah, yes. So you can change it. So if you want the pen on the page, you click visible and you've got the actual pen. So let's come away from there. Let's also change the colour. Oh, it's already on pink. Fantastic. Let's change it to a bit of a darker pink just so that we've actually made a change. <laughs> um, fantastic. Let's come off there. And yep, so it's picked up the pen straight away. We've, we've not had to do anything special, really. We've just taken the ring off and put it on a different pen. So no settings really needed to be changed. Um, let's try another flower then. So I'm going to go with circle oh fantastic it's even got the little flat bottom of the circle that i've done there totally on purpose um let's have a little triangle either side yep <laughs> just as uh, rough as i'm doing it and then let's um let's do a little petal heart-shaped petal like this all the way around So you can't actually see this side of the thing. Can we move this? Can we move this layer box thingy? No. Oh, so there's a delete button there. Let's get rid of that. Delete, because I just created a new layer. So I'm literally messing around with this as we're doing it. Um, should have probably put that flower somewhere else on the paper, but you should be able to move this, you would think, wouldn't you? Hey ho! Anyway, so uh, let's do it. Let's do it again quickly down here, so you can actually see what I'm doing this time. So, do it quite quickly. Oh, I've got no precision at all when it comes to drawing. Um, so little heart-shaped petals all the way around. Here we go. Uh, let's do a little line here as well. Lovely. <laughs> Uh, I would attempt, should we give it a go, just to do an outline of this flower if it was one that I was drawing properly. Um, and I always find it really difficult to keep outlines the same width all the way around. That wasn't too bad. So, yeah, you can see here where I've put it quite close to the lines quite close together that um, it's, it's picked up on that and it's kept the gap that I also kept on the flower on the paper so again it's translating your strokes perfectly really to the to the screen so as I said if you are someone who draws a lot um, and you know you want something very light and portable and reliable as well because you can see how well this is translated if you want something that's reliable it's going to take every single stroke you put down and put it on the screen then this has worked fantastically so far so let's just do a little bit of Let's do a bit of writing just for fun. Let's write my name. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so there you go. That's my little demo of the repaper. Obviously, as I've said, if I was a bit more of an artist, I would have drawn you some sort of, um, I don't know, uh, Buckingham Palace or something. But <laughs> that's all you're getting from me. But hopefully it has demonstrated to you how well the repaper works, which is what I had in mind. So say we wanted to erase something that we've done. Um, so if we want to erase it on the paper, but we also want to see it erased on the screen too, you can click down here for your little eraser pencil, click it again, and it comes up with all of the different settings. So we've got the size, let's just make it a bit bigger. Uh, we've got opacity, then we've got um, stroke smoothing, speed sensitivity, we've got hardness, so soft and hard eraser, and then your pressure. So let's give that a go. I've inserted the repaper ring onto a, a pencil that has a eraser on the back and I've lined it up in the user guide so that it's in the right place. So hopefully when we erase this flower it should actually erase on screen as well. Let's give it a go. So I think that that's all erased on the paper. Let's get rid of all this 
eraser debris so it's not the best eraser in the world it's not the best pencil in the world but you can see that it has erased it has erased it off the paper and it's also more importantly erased it from the tablet as well so the the eraser version works just as well with the sensitivity settings as the pencil does I also figured out that if you press the layers button up here it does get rid of that little box so you can see this half of my flower now <laughs> so if you get if you press the tools it gets rid of the tools if you press it again it brings them up same with the layers and you can keep layering as well um, and yeah so it's it's got all the settings that you would need on a very easy to follow and uh, basic um, setup on the screen. So what I want to do now is have a go at just using the stylus and the pad without any paper as you would a normal graphics tablet. So let's uh, let's click new and I'm not going to save that. And then hopefully if we just bring this to the screen. Yeah, our little green dot has shown up right up there in the corner to show that we are connected. And um, let's check which tool we're using down here. So is there a stylus tool? We've got ballpoint pen. We've got felt, we've got marker, chalk, airbrush, and eraser. So, hmm, I'm guessing ballpoint pen really would be the one to use. Um, and make sure that it's black. There we go. Um, have we got also a size on that? Yeah, so let's bring the size down a little bit. Let's see what happens. So. We've got our pen showing up on the screen. You can turn that off as you saw. Um, let's see. Colour with clear. Fantastic. So again, just very, very simply, I didn't have to do anything. The stylus has that repaper ring built into it. So it was literally a case of me putting the pencil down that I was using before and then just picking this up and I didn't have to reconnect or anything like that. So that's fantastic. Let's try a little flower. <laughs> that seems to be all I can do. The only thing about this is obviously you can't see what you're putting down on the pad itself. So it's you have to rely more on looking at the screen. So that's what your little crosshairs are for, I guess. Um... Let's do some, let's do some standard, <laughs> standard, she says. It's really difficult to gauge. <laughs> it looks more like uh, Squirtle from, uh, from Pokemon. Let's give him a little bit of a, a turtle shell. I'm really getting into this now. <laughs> there we go, it's Squirtle. <laughs> So, um, yeah, as you can see, it's just as easy to use your stylus as well as your pencil and paper. Um, what I'm going to try now is we're going to try turning the uh, the screen off, the tablet off, and we're going to do some drawing on the repaper um, product as it is without actually having it connected to anything and then we'll see if we can load up what we've drawn so just imagine you're taking this out and about with you somewhere you haven't got any kind of electrical connection um, and you just want to to draw and make sure that you can transfer it to your tablet when you get home okay so I want to see how this works if we're out and about we don't have any electrical connection and we're just relying on the battery and the memory that is within the repaper slate so again there's no wi-fi it's not connected to bluetooth or anything like that um, we could be anywhere in the world right now and all we have is our pencil and our repaper slate with the paper on top so I've already switched it on as you can see hopefully over here we have a blue light that means that it's on now we have to just tap I hope, I hope you're in focus we have to just tap the button once the on off button once and that blue light has changed to pink hopefully that's being picked up uh, and that means that it's ready for you to start drawing and it's going to start remembering everything that you do so it's easy um you know it would be easy for things to maybe jostle against it in your bag and you'd end up having all this uh, all this scribble all over it but you, with you actually having to activate it and the pink light be on then you know it's taking down what you're doing hope that makes sense so let's draw something super simple just because we want to demonstrate and check that it's picking up what we've done when we're out of the house and we're not connected to anything so we are relying solely on the battery 
and the uh, the memory of this. So again, I'm sticking with flowers because it worked so well last time. <laughs> um, there we go. Uh, let's give it a little stalk. I know this isn't the uh, ideal angle for you to be at, but it's just easier for me to do it this way because it's going to get the tablet on screen as well. Okay, there we go. So um, let's just do a little bit of writing. Let's say hello repaper. I want to see if it picks up all the different strokes I'm putting down. So there we go. So I'm going to press that power button at the top again so that the pink light changes back to blue. You see that in the corner? It's very, very difficult to see and difficult to demonstrate as well at this angle. Uh, and then we're going to bring our tablet in. So just imagine that we've got home and we want to make sure that everything we have put down on our slate is done. So just checking um, the connection. Here we go. Just making sure you can see everything as well. That's the thing. Let's put you properly in place. So I've put the... Uh, I've put the app on. We're going to click connection. Uh, it's already connected to our repaper, so that's good. Just checking that this comes up. Yeah, we're green, so got it. Uh, then we're going to click on import your paper drawings because that's what we're going to do. It's got the little satchel emblem so that you've been out and about. So we'll click import. Hopefully, oh, something's come up. So if we click on this drawing, it's downloading it from the repaper slate onto the app. It said this may take some time. It's going fairly quickly. Uh, do, 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 do. It's a waiting game. So I'm really excited to see whether it's actually picked up what we did, even though it wasn't connected to anything. And you could have been halfway around the world when you did it and then come home and download your image to your tablet. It's fantastic if it works. Okay, successful drawing download. Would you like to open your drawing? Yes, please. So we'll click there. It says slip on the repaper ring, slide the ring over your pen and pencil. Yes, we've done that. Oh, it's just showing you how to put the ring on again. So I'll click do not display this message again. Got it. Ah, there we go. So it has perfectly, seemingly, taken everything that we have put down on that paper when we were out and about and uh, and seamlessly brought it onto screen it's got all of the little wobbly lines and everything else and it seems to have picked up every single stroke that i put down so absolutely fantastic on all counts whether you're using it uh, connected and on screen as we did first or whether you're using it with the black stylus without any paper whatsoever or whether you're using it out and about uh, as a portable slate it works on all three counts and it's picked up every stroke beautifully Okay, so how much is it going to set you back to buy yourself a repaper? So they're currently retailing at £229 for this particular box set that you've seen here today. You can also get a cheaper version of the repaper slate with all the same technology for £139 and they do offer refurbished versions for just £89. So even though um, it is a substantial cost, however you look at it, you can uh, get the cheaper options there for you if needed and still have that very same technology of the magnets and, and all that good stuff. So just to summarise what we've seen here today, the repaper digitises your pencil and paper sketches using magnets very quickly, very easily and without fuss. It's got a four megabyte internal memory and also options to expand with that SD card slot I showed you. Uh, the configurable buttons that you can change to do all the different things you want it to do. Um, and the main thing really is that you can use your own pencil or pen, your preferred artist tools to, uh, to sketch on this and still have it digitized, which I think is the main innovation of it. Um, obviously there are different sizes of repaper ring that you can buy. I do wish that they did include the sizes within this pack, um, but they are available separately. Uh, it's made by iSkin, which is a French company. I didn't mention that. It's French innovation, so it's all very top of the line and brand new. Um, 
really it's just a graphics tablet for traditional pen and paper artists so if you want to keep to your traditional methods but you want to make it easier to get them digitally on screen so you can i don't know sell your pieces or clean them up on your digital tablet what have you apps i don't know but it's a good way of uh, of doing that and it's very easy and simple to do as well you've got the best of both worlds you can keep your pencil and paper but you've also got that digital element as well so I really hope you've enjoyed looking at something totally different today on the channel. Um, if you are someone who is interested in drawing, sketching, um, it's it's a fantastic product for you. I'm sure you'll get much more out of it than I can explain with my limited knowledge. But hopefully the demonstrations that I've done for you today will have given you a good enough scope into what the product is about for you to make a choice. So obviously all the links are going to be in the description for you to grab a repaper of your own. Let me know in the comments what you think. Obviously, this is a very different video to what I normally do, but um, I'm really interested to know whether you found it uh, useful or interesting. <laughs> so let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.